All right, hey everyone. Uh, today we're gonna do some product photography using a mobile phone. So what I'm gonna do is basically give you a tip on how to get awesome white background and properly exposed objects. So today we're taking a picture of this um, plate thing. Anyways, um, that's all I could find. And um, actually this surface is kind of reflective because it's ceramic and uh, it'll show some challenges down the road, but we're gonna take care of that real quick. So just before I get into that, I wanna show you guys my setup. Uh, I got three soft boxes. I think this setup cost me something like 250 or north of that. Got it online on Amazon. And um, you don't have to have a fancy setup like this. You know, all you need is a soft light. And to get that, you can use window. You can use any, any light source that has a large surface area. So this is the surface area, for example. You don't want to have a, a small light bulb. That's very. It's going to give you very sharp uh, shadows and lights. You want to have soft light that's going to cover everything, so you get um, less harsh shadows. So um, let's just get started. I'm. Uh, I'm going to take a picture in automatic mode and see what happens. And as you can see, while I'm doing this, uh, the background is kind of gray. It's not very white, and the object is kind of dim. It's a bit underexposed. So in order to fix that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the object and we're gonna use a slider to change the exposure. What we're gonna do is we're gonna over the, overexpose sorry, the image just a little bit in order to get that background to be nice and white almost. And you want that object to come out of the shadows and be properly exposed. All right, here we go. And there you go. So as you can see, there's a bit of um, reflective uh, light coming from the reflecting off the ceramic and uh, you can see a bit of the shape of the, of the soft boxes and that's where you want to like move your soft boxes around and uh, it could even add a nice touch to your picture so some curves of your object for example if it's reflective and you want to bring out the curves you can use like a longer soft box that'll do that for you but today I'm just gonna be okay with this another thing you can do is reflect your light in case you don't have a softbox, you can reflect your light source off the wall or the ceiling of your room because, you know, that's a larger surface area. And when it reflects back onto the object, it should be soft, softer light, at least. So you can always work with that. Um, that's it for today, folks. If you enjoyed it, uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, do whatever uh, it takes to, you know, make me happy because then I'll be making more videos for you. So, yeah, take it easy.